Hello techies. In this tutorial, I will show you how we created the plans for our latest short film. First, we generated a series of images to get a style that suited us. We selected about 20 of them. Now that we have this folder, we can load it into the workflow to use it with IP adapter. Here is what Forest looks like as a prompt without the IP adapter. And now by activating it. So we have the style we want. Let's move on to a character. Let's choose Hermione. She is recognizable. She is in the style, but her morphology changes too much from image to image. So now we are going to activate the second IP adapter, the one for the face. And we are going to copy a face that we choose. There, the face is much more consistent. The last point is the management of the character's pose. We had precise ideas of what we wanted for certain clips. For example, when Hermione uses her wand, our son, a Harry Potter fan, wanted to be the model. So we had a photo session. We can then load the image into the control net. Activating depth and pose should be enough by giving them a medium weight. I've noticed that having a total of less than or equal to one is generally pretty good. Otherwise, it has a negative influence on the IP adapters. Moreover, as we use the control nets for the image structure, we can stop them around 40%. At that point, the image structure is created. Perfect, now we fine tune the prompt a bit to have something more pleasant for the eyes. And there you go. Before finishing, I wanted to show you two tricks that we use and that improve the quality of our images. First, we use free you with these settings. Then, during the clip text and code, we play with the image size. First, we multiply by four. Then, we apply a factor of 1.5 for the positive prompt and 0.8 for the negative. This has a positive effect on the quality. The image is still generated at the size we have set here. I hope this tutorial and workflow will be useful to you. See you soon.